This is my very first look at an Intel Optane SSD DCP 4800X series NVMe SSD. <laughs> How's that for a mouthful? Uh, this is obviously in some sort of OEM generic packaging. And let's just get started with opening up the blister pack. So I do not have a consumer box of any kind. I just have this. This is an eval unit that I temporarily have access to. And I'm pretty excited because I've been waiting for this for a long time and I've got the equipment to install it into right nearby. So let's get started with what it physically looks like. All right. Now other people have worked on this. I see a little bit of uh, evidence of that, but very minor. And I'm going to need the low profile adapter right there. So let's have a physical close look at all the pieces and parts here. And there we go. So you'll notice the connector and the number of pins. How many PCIe lanes, right? So you're going to want a PCIe 3.0 PCIe slot, so a pretty modern PC from less than two years uh, of age or so to get the full speed out of this. So. These are uh, obviously heat sinks that run the length of the car, so air is intended to flow straight along there. And then we've got a whole lot going on in the back, ah, more than I thought I'd see. So I've used the Intel 750 series, but it's been a while since I had my hands on one of those. Um, and I've seen many pictures from like three or four months ago, and it seems a bunch of bloggers uh, may have had remote access to Optane. I want to make sure you get a nice close 4K look at all elements of the design, including the PCB on the back, which again has way more going on than I thought, right in the open air. So that hints at a two-sided PCB, strongly, because we can see right there, it's not a hint, it's visible right through the edge. Okay, let's have a look through the top edge. Cool. So 375 gig is my capacity, and peeking through there you can see two-sided PCB design. Designed in US, assembled in US. NVM Express logo. Alright, it would be fun to mess with it and take these off and see what it looks like under, and what kind of uh, conjunction, uh, junction they have between the heatsink and the modules, but we can see it already. There's some blue, um, hmm, looks like blue discs, right there. I don't know. So interesting uh, design there. So we can peek through the bottom, more visible. All right, any other elements to highlight here? Any LEDs or anything? Nope. So super simple design. Uh, I need to go ahead and Replace that bracket, as I mentioned, <clears throat> with a TR9 bit. That was a pretty foolproof design as far as installing that without stripping or cross-threading because it's going right into some aluminum there. So there's really no issue with putting that in. Very straightforward. Now I happen to have a machine handy that's going to fit this Optane quite nicely. In fact, you'll see it already has a friend on the motherboard there, and that is the Intel Optane Consumer Drive. So these 32 gig small modules are meant to speed up as a caching tier on a laptop, say, to make a spinning drive a whole lot faster. Uh, but I formatted VMFS and put ESXi 6.5 update 1 on here and gave it some testing. Um, but now, we're going to give give it a friend here, the Intel Optane SSD DC being data center. And uh, it'll be helpful if I point out that you're going to have to remove your backplate screw. In my case, my backplate's already been removed, but the screw was not. The other thing I'll point out is, yeah, this is half height, half length. So what that means is... You only have so much space in here physically. 
This card is going to fit right in just like many other half height, half length cards I've already tested with this Z on D system. Okay, so now I need to uh, get off my chair, get down low, and have a look at lining up the PCIe slot here. I need to get it straight into the slot. And that's it. Very little force needed. Now that I've got it lined up, I want the card straight in. Even pressure. It's done. No problem. The power on self-test sequence just finished. On the back of the P4800X over at the right, you see two brightly glowing LEDs. There's actually three total. And now the fan for the chassis goes to full speed, which is what I asked it to do to keep this drive as cool as possible. And I started doing some tests of its speed.